The countdown to the Tokyo Olympics enters its final six months this Saturday, but organizers are facing mounting pressure and public opposition at home. Japan's seen a severe spike in coronavirus cases and recently declared a state of emergency in Tokyo and major cities. And with 15,000 athletes and their entourages coming from all over the world, one virus expert from Kobe University, Kentaro Iwada, says it's not worth the risk. Is it like an attitude of bad gambler? Uh, you know, the, the, the gambler who are losing the money would just pour the money to uh, get it back. But it's a really usually a bad attitude and usually they keep losing money further. Iwata rose to fame with videos in early 2020 criticizing Japan's approach to quarantining the Diamond Princess, a cruise ship that was stricken with COVID-19 before it became a global pandemic. He thinks holding the games is not a solution, but organizers say postponing the games again for a second time is off the table, meaning cancellation or going ahead as planned are the only options. And calling it quits would be costly. Over $15 billion has been poured into these Olympics. Iwata also points to Japan's response to the most recent surge, which he says was slow. Well, last couple of months, the Japan's response was completely a uh, failure, I have to say, because uh, there was uh, enough chance of suppressing the spread of viral infection last year. Uh, during the so-called second wave. For now, Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga has said that the government is preparing as planned, and organisers say they may cut back on spectators, athletes, and even the events themselves. They also say a decision on whether spectators can even enter venues may come by February or March.